So if you're going to be looking yeah. for a way to cool down going into this <laughs> first holiday weekend of the year, you know, with all these hot temperatures, a lot of folks going to be heading to the beach or going to the pool. Maybe that includes you. Yes, and this is a big reason why May is National Water Safety Month. It's a really great time for mm -hmm. you to refresh yourself and your family about being safe in and around water. Our Angela Taylor explains. We all know the basics, no running around the pool, don't swim alone, and if you're going to jump in the water, go feet first. But we went to the Kraft Family YMCA to get answers about what water safety really means. <laughs> Rule number one, if you're at the beach, the lake, or the neighborhood pool, know your surroundings. Being proactive is more so just going into any kind of water situation, knowing the safety hazards, and knowing how to navigate those hazards at your level. You don't have to be an excellent swimmer to enjoy the water, but you do have to pay attention, especially when your children are around. Never let your kids swim alone. Always have eyes on your kids at all times. That's because someone in trouble in the water probably won't splash around and call for help. Drowning itself, uh, it, it can look different for everyone, um, and it, the scary thing is it can go unnoticed, really, because it's, it does look so different. Some kids can go under and never come up, and so the sign, you may never see them, you know, splashing or grasping or making a noise. Lifeguards, like the one at the craft family YMCA are trained to look for things that just don't seem right. Someone that looks stressed in the water or even an unusual shadow. Which is why we really get away from any inflatables being in our pool because it can it can only make the lifeguards jobs harder. So what do you need to do to make sure your pool party is safe? Well have a designated water watcher. Someone that keeps an eye on what's going on in and around your pool. Make sure everyone knows where the exits are in the pool even if they don't plan on getting in the water. And if the worst does happen post CPR directions and keep a first aid kit by the pool. Angela Taylor, CBS 17 News.